the office of matins for Holy Tuesday, according to the 1549 Book of Common Prayer, with additions from the Sarum Breviary as compiled in the Prayer Book Office by Father Paul Hartzell, 1944. The Psalms appointed are 39, 40, and 42. Matins will be followed by the Litany. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Let us worship the Lord who by his cross hath redeemed us. Let us worship the Lord who by his cross hath redeemed us. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. Let us worship the Lord who by his cross hath redeemed us. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also, who by his cross hath redeemed us. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Let us worship the Lord, who by his cross hath redeemed us. Sing, my tongue, the glorious battle, sing the winning of the fray, and above the cross the trophy, sound the high triumphal lay. Tell of how the world's Redeemer, as a victim, won the day. God our Maker, deeply grieving that the first made Adam fell, when he took the fruit forbidden, which to taste was death and hell, noted then this tree the ruin of the first tree to dispel. Thus the work of our salvation needs must fill its ordered plan, craft the cunning traitor baffle as his craft deluded man, and the medicine of healing spring whence first the hurt began. Therefore when the sacred fullness of the appointed time was come, God the Son, the world's creator, sent from out the Father's home, issued forth on earth incarnate, offspring of the virgin's womb. Glory be to God and honor in the highest as is meet, to the Son and to the Father and the eternal paraclete, whose is boundless praise and power through the ages infinite. Amen. The Ungodly Said I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I offend not in my tongue. I will keep my mouth as it were with a bridle, while the ungodly is in my sight. I held my tongue and spake nothing. I kept silence, yea, even from good words, but it was pain and grief to me. My heart was hot within me, and while I was thus musing, the fire kindled. And at the last I spake with my tongue, Lord, let me know mine end and the number of my days that I may be certified how long I have to live. Behold, thou hast made my days as it were a span long, and mine age is even as nothing in respect of thee, and verily every man living is altogether vanity. For man walketh in a vain shadow, and disquieteth himself in vain. He heapeth up riches, and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope is even in thee, Deliver me from all mine offences, and make me not a rebuke unto the foolish. I became dumb, and opened not my mouth, for it was thy doing. 
Take thy plague away from me, I am even consumed by the means of thy heavy hand. When thou with rebukes dost chasten man for sin, thou makest his beauty to consume away, like as it were a moth fretting a garment. Every man, therefore, is but vanity. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and with thine ears consider my calling. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O spare me little, that I may recover my strength, before I go hence and be no more seen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my calling. He brought me also out of the horrible pit, out of the mire and clay, and set my feet upon the rock, and ordered my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even a thanksgiving unto our God. Many shall see it in fear, and shall put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man that hath set his hope in the Lord, and turned not unto the proud, and to such as go about with lies. O Lord my God, great are the wondrous works which thou hast done, like as be also thy thoughts which are to usward. And yet there is no man that ordereth them unto thee. If I should declare them and speak of them, they should be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sacrifice for sin hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, that I should fulfill thy will, O my God. I am content to do it, yea, thy law is within my heart. I have declared thy righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I will not refrain my lips, O Lord, and that thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. My talk hath been of thy truth and of thy salvation. I have not kept back thy loving mercy and truth from the great congregation. Withdraw not thou thy mercy from me, O Lord. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth alway preserve me. For innumerable troubles are come about me. My sins have taken such hold upon me that I am not able to look up. Yea, they are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart hath failed me. O Lord, let it be thy pleasure to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to rebuke that wish me evil. Let them be desolate and rewarded with shame, that say unto me, Fie upon thee, fie upon thee. Let all those that seek thee be joyful and glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say alway, The Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord careth for me. Thou art my helper and redeemer. Make no long tarrying, O my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Like as the heart desireth the water brooks, so longeth my soul after thee, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, yea, even for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they daily say unto me, where is now thy God? Now when I think thereupon, I pour out my heart by myself. For I went with the multitude, and brought them forth into the house of God, in the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among such as keep holy day. Why art thou so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet thank him, which is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is vexed within me, and therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, from Hermon and the little hill. One deep calleth another, because of the noise of thy water floods. All thy waves and storms are gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night season will I sing of him and make my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto the God of my strength, Why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I thus heavily, while the enemy oppresseth me? My bones are smitten asunder as with a sword, while mine enemies that trouble me cast me in the teeth. Namely, while they say daily unto me, Where is now thy God? Why art thou so vexed, O my soul, and why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet thank him, which is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The ungodly said, Let us oppress the righteous man, because he is clean contrary. 
to our duets. Here beginneth the fourteenth chapter of the book of Hosea. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words, and turn to the Lord, and say unto him, Take away all iniquity, and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. Ashur shall not save us, we will not ride upon horses, neither will we say any more to the work of our hands, Ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backsliding, I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. I will be as the dew upon Israel, he shall grow as a lily, and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall revive as the corn, and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him, and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is thy fruit found. Who is wise, and he shall understand these things? Prudent, and he shall know them? For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors shall fall therein. Here endeth the lesson. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holiness, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the deaths and dwellest between the cherubim, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the glorious throne of thy kingdom, praised and exalted above all for ever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, praised and exalted above all for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, praised and exalted above all for ever. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Praise it and exalt it above all for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God. Thy holy name is praiseworthy and glorious for ever and ever. Here beginneth the fifteenth chapter of the Gospel of St. John. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Here endeth the lesson. No man. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, 
in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. No man taketh away my life from me, but I lay it down of myself, and again I take it. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty everlasting God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion, that we may be worthy to receive thy forgiveness. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind hast sent thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh, and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience, and also be made partakers of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God the Holy Ghost, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Saint Mary, Mother of God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, pray for us. All holy angels and archangels, and all holy orders of blessed spirits, pray for us. All holy patriarchs and prophets, apostles, martyrs, confessors, and virgins, and all the blessed company of heaven, pray for us. Remember not, Lord, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers, neither take thou vengeance of our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood, and be not angry with us for ever. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and mischief, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from thy wrath and from everlasting damnation, good Lord, deliver us. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and all uncharitableness, good Lord, deliver us. 
from all inordinate and sinful affections, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine, from battle and murder, and from sudden death. Good Lord, deliver us. From all sedition, privy conspiracy, and rebellion, from all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of thy word and commandment, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by the holy nativity and circumcision, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By thine agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost, good Lord, deliver us. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord that it may please thee so to rule the heart of thy servant Donald, the President of the United States, that he may, above all things, seek thine honour and glory. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and preserve all Christian rulers and magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to illuminate all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us a heart to love and fear thee, and diligently to live up to thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give to all thy people increase of grace, to hear meekly thy word, and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to bring to the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to strengthen such as to stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted, and to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet, we beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to succor, help, and comfort all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, we beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to preserve all who travel by land, by water, or by air, all women in childbirth, all sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth so that in due time we may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endue us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, deal not with us according to our sins, neither reward us according to our iniquities. Let us pray. O God, merciful Father, who despisest not the sighing of a contrite heart, nor the desire of such as are sorrowful, mercifully assist our prayers which we make before thee in all our troubles and adversities, 
whensoever they oppress us, and graciously hear us if those evils which the craft and subtlety of the devil or man worketh against us may, by thy good providence, be brought to naught, that we, thy servants, being hurt by no persecutions, may evermore give thanks unto thee in thy holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thine honor. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From our enemies, defend us, O Christ. Graciously look upon our afflictions. With pity behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably with mercy hear our prayers. O Son of David, have mercy upon us. Both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Lord Christ. O Lord, let thy mercy be showed upon us, as we do put our trust in thee. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name turn from us all those evils that we most justly have deserved, and grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thine honour and glory, through our only Mediator and Advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness we flee unto thee for succour. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leadeth to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.